peeps, you know what I mean? Big up again, it's the franchise. If you're new to the channel, I am the franchise. This is my channel. You know, we talk about cars, you know, we do car vlogs, stuff like that over this side. So, if you are fresh here on the channel, subscribe, you know what I mean? Like, share with a friend, do all of the good stuff. See? Cool. Alright. So, first things first, I hit 4k subscribers, you know, to the average persons that probably be like, you know, it, it doesn't hold any significance, but to us YouTubers, hitting 4k right now, you know what I mean, just, just means at least, you know, some appreciation is being showed, you know what I mean, people really like your videos, people, you know, subscribe, people want to watch, so um for me to give back to my um my subscribers for hitting 4k i'll be giving away you know something to y'all um it's something simple but you know what i mean it's just to show my appreciation you know what i mean that you know i appreciate y'all so um what i'm gonna be giving away is this all right so peeps if you look at see it I'll be giving away a Max Boost Car Mount Extendable Arm. Now, this is something I actually use on a daily basis and it's very handy, you know, for car persons or for people who are busy, you're on the road a lot and um, you need somewhere to mount your phone. It, you know, allows easy access to um, your phone while driving, you can video call. I can do all of that even though we're not supposed to be using our phones while driving but you know what I mean in the event that we have to because sometimes we're moving and we need we need to communicate you get me this definitely comes in handy um, I chose to give this away because I felt like it was a more rounded thing to give away most of the stuff I have in my inventory right now it's um, for specific vehicles and I wanted to give something away that was you know more rounded anyone that any anyway, anybody can use it so this is the reason I'm giving away this you know I hope you guys like it all right so now for you to enter it's pretty simple now this is sponsored by mad bargains and um, Instagram you have to be following mad bargains you have to be following the franchise ek3 and you definitely have to subscribe to my channel for you to be able to win this all right now you're gonna hashtag in the comments mad bargains now i'll be putting it on the screen so you can you know you don't miss the spelling mad bargain you know what i mean now, i hope you guys really like this and i hope you appreciate it you know what i mean just as i appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel you know what i mean big up yeah like i said um you know in regards to the giveaway i'm giving away today's video is sponsored by mad bargains so Ensure that you guys head over to Mad Bargains, follow the page, you know, get all your um, you know accessories and everything that she sells over there. So you know what I mean. Big up on yourself. Alright, peeps. So I forgot to mention how I was going to announce the winner. So basically, every everyone who hashtagged and followed, um, I'll put the names in a software randomly. Um, have it choose the person, the winner. You know what I mean. Whoever wins, I'll announce it to them. You know what I mean, and then have that item sent out to them. You know what I mean. Big up to everyone, you know, who will participate. Big up on yourself. Yeah, yo. All right. So, first things first, we're gonna be going into um, basically just answering some questions um, based on you know questions people ask on my YouTube channel in the comments. So, first question is this. All right, peeps. So. First question, do you have any plans for turbocharging this car? Alright, so, um, turbocharging the car is it's a good question. I kind of feel like I would turbocharge a car, but I would lean more towards supercharging the car. Reason being, um, you know, no offense to the turbocharge Monday, Monday. Nas man more because we know in a Jamaica so that very very popular and prevalent. Um because my car is mainly 
a daily car even though I have friends that have daily turbo cars as well um, me personally I would prefer to do a supercharger reason being it's I feel like it's less hackling on the engine you know what I mean and I've heard you know less mishaps happening in regards to um, you know having a supercharger on your car rather than turbocharging it or you know putting on NAS so that is the reason I think I would go you know more towards um, you know supercharging my car than actual turbocharging so to answer your question I would go towards turbocharge no supercharger <laughs> more than a turbocharge see second question you think it is safe to buy parts from eBay boy <laughs> I yeah, talk to an eBay, an avid buyer on eBay. Um, a majority of the stuff I've purchased for my car is from eBay. Um, what I would suggest to persons thinking or having you know second thoughts about buying on eBay, I would say to you, read carefully. You know what I mean? A lot of the times they have no choice but to be upfront about what they're selling. So if they're selling, they're selling you a phone case on eBay and you read the description or you don't read the description the, the picture might show a phone itself and you see the phone for 40 dollars and you wonder like yo why this so cheap very 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 hurry up and go buy it you realize there's a phone case come in the description of that purchase that you made you'll see that it they have to tell you that it's a phone case you know it's a phone case them um them must sell so to answer your question yes I haven't had any mishaps in regards to buying things on eBay so eBay is a safe place to buy things and majority of the stuff on my car is from eBay so that's it alright next question are you getting the amount of power you want from the B series now and would you do a case swap or go boost with the B series um a good question um if I get enough power you know, to be honest, if you are a car enthusiast, you'll never get enough power. I can tell you that. You'll get enough power <laughs> for that week when you finish the build where you want. And it's sweet, you know what I mean, for that first week or two. But after that, you want more power. You know what I mean? Uh, my car made, you know what I mean, 200. 200 and much on the dyno. Uh, for me, I wasn't satisfied. You know what I mean? I was, I was pleased with the power just based on how it felt you know what I mean and the, just how the car run but overall I wanted or my expectations were higher than that so you know what I mean um, if I the, the other part of the question said if I would case swap yep definitely I would case swap um, if anybody out there right now watching this um, have a case series or want to sponsor a case swap right now hit me up the franchise EK3 on Instagram or my channel right now you can hit me up tell me if you're willing to sponsor you know what I mean leave it in the comments leave it in the comments as well you know message me in in any way shape or form you can you know what I mean and tell me if you sponsor the case swap zine but I would definitely do a case swap peeps um, that's basically the, the ultimate goal for me you know what I mean it's not like an ultimate ultimate goal but you know what I mean it is like up there upon the bucket list um if me don't boost the series me don't tell us i wouldn't boost it you know what i mean possibilities are there so i would never say never all right so next question how did it feel on cut spring <laughs> yo when i was on cut spring me never care um, what it felt like. I did not care what it felt like. It was bouncy. It probably was unsafe, but when you know better, you do better. Um, but then, as I said, cut spring was the was like the go-to thing because suspen suspensions weren't as prevalent then. So you know what I mean. That was my option then. But um, in all honesty, what cut cut spring felt like it was bouncy it was rigid um 
it was uncomfortable but then but then it meant the world to me you know what i mean that's what i enjoyed i loved and it's what i could afford at the time so you know what i mean uh if i were to recommend cut spring now i would tell i would tell any youngster coming up right now just to wait and get some suspension or buy some um some some sleeve overs um it's better to do that than to you know cut the spring you're messing with the integrity of the ride in terms of you might mess up the mess up the struts them and the springs depending on how durable they are you cut them it, um, they might just break so you know what I mean my advice to persons that you know are coming up don't cut the springs get some coil overs or some sleeve overs you know what I mean so that's my recommendation alright next question this person asked how much do you think you spent <laughs> what a question ah yo I'm going to be honest with you people the car enthusiast life is an expensive one. You know what I mean? I, I can't give it, not even a ballpark figure of what I've spent on my car over the years. I know it's a lot. Just based off of how many rims I've changed, I've done engine swaps, um, I've repainted the car multiple times. Trust me. Um, just know that if you are coming into this thing, I mean prepare yourself to spend prepare to be frustrated you know prepare to enjoy yourself as well because when you put in all that work into your car and you, you get the results that you want the enjoyment you can get out of that car trust me it's like no other so you know I mean I can't give you a ballpark figure just know that it's a lot you know what I mean and it's easier to do over time than in bulk I would tell you don't try to save up and do one big spending for one it might stress you out when you see how much you spend one time and two you might just never end up doing it because it's hard to just save up all of that in one you get me all right so next question um was it a CVT trans at community? All right, so no, my my transmission was a regular tranny. Um, everybody know CVT tranny is continuous variable transmission. That means it basically it a shift through the gears, but you know hear it or you know feel it like it, you would in a regular tranny. Um, those when I say nice. I guess for some people, you know, changing, um, driving, and you hear it continuously, I rev. Basically, it does sound like the car does a rev and a pickup speed and a stop. Um, but um, in an EK, whenever it is that you're doing, you're going to do like a swap, especially to gearbox, and you have a CBT trying it in there. You're going, it's a complicated uh, procedure to switch from the CBT trying it. Sealer. It's a complicated task to do that. Um, people can leave in the comments in the comment section if you have had a CVT transmission in your car and you were doing a gearbox swap. You know the things that you went through in regards to you know just just doing the conversion. Uh, but I had a regular transmission, so let me just take it out that way. Um, <laughs> put it underneath the tree I take it out and put it on the ground base for post milk you know what I mean um, just take it out put it on the ground put a regular um, gearbox in the car and I had no issues going forward you get me but um, to answer the question no it was not CVT Johnny, in my car when I had it yeah peep so <clears throat> intermission time you know what I mean your boy is hungry you know what I mean hold on give me a second there <clears throat> you 
your peeps so as many say i and i hungry mm -hmm. so we'll come back. next question what was my hp expectations ah my hp expectations with my car was at least 220 um i was told by the tuner that i can actually make it you know 220 with the setup that i have but i i need to make i needed to make some changes in regards to the intake my car was stifling based on a small two and a half inch intake pipe also i'm looking to change that in my car so people if you all have a link on getting i don't know uh, 70 millimeter 70 millimeter up to about four inch you know custom pipe made leave it down in the comments message me on ig communicate to me any way you can um yeah so yeah um i wanted 222 25 there about i needed to make some changes um one my cams are aftermarket cams so i needed to i need to well i need to rock the cam gears a little bit in regards to the degrees you know sent by skunk to you know to get the, the most optimum performance from i needed to do that and i need um bigger intake i need a bigger intake pipe because it's a 70 millimeter tracker body with um a skunk 2 pro 2 intake so and it and it's ported too i sent it to i sent it and got it um ported port matched and all of that so yeah I need to do those things to you know up the horsepower in the all motor thing you see me so that's the number i was going for that's not the number i got but you know what i mean you can always go back and do that is it all right peeps so next question um what oh here we go so what was your mother's reaction to the transformation done to the car um my mom loved it she still loves it you know what i mean uh she was surprised that you know the car could transform and look you know the way it looked after i was done with it um she even like made jokes about you know still driving it after me doing the modifications but she was worried about <laughs> you know people saying she probably got through some uh, midlife crisis seeing her driving you know you know a car looking like it does but she loved it when she saw it and she still loves it to this day you know what i mean and anytime you know come home with it like me leave it at the mechanic shark so i go on for re -re, so you know what i mean she still love it she love it like how she love me you know what i mean yeah all right so last question and then i go into um something a few of the subscribers mentioned um from the story time vid in regards to <clears throat> all right so question read the question first so the question is am i still making the same hp i made when i um, went to the dyno i assume so um i haven't gone back to the dyno i haven't made any changes to the engine since i've done it so it's either still making the same power or um less you know based on how engines engines work but um i plan to go back for the rest of the horsepower you know that is supposedly in the engine so <clears throat> you know what i mean when i do that it's gonna be posted it's gonna be recorded so y'all will see that you know what i mean yeah all right so moving forward forward yo you know sitting in front of the camera i don't know what direction is what you know what i mean so you get what i mean so moving forward um so reading the comments i saw you know what i mean I read all of them i saw someone say i forgot to mention the interior of the car from my last vid now the reason for that I didn't want to lengthen the video too much. I don't want the video too long and drawn out. Um, two, I haven't done a lot 
of upgrades to the to the interior i wanted to keep my interior a little bit stuck with a little bit of modification if that makes sense you know what i mean so um well i guess we can talk about it now let's just go into it so um interior wise i think what i started doing my first mod inside the car was the cluster now i've been through many clusters um you know through the time that i've owned this car um most of which are pretty much i just did so the original clock that's inside your automatic car you know it comes with just it comes with the the gas gauge on one side and it comes with the heat gauge on one side and the and the um not even a rev clock it just come with the, the speedometer no rev no rev clock no nothing so going to standard the first thing you want to do you want to see how much you care rev so the first clock i changed um in um well put into my car was a <coughs> clock with a rev clock you know what i mean i think the, the first one came out of a a car that had cvt channel in it come with a rev clock speedometer and i think it had the heat gauge and the the heat gauge and the gas gauge on one side yeah i think of something like that um correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but that was the first that was the first clock i changed into my car um i've been to many i'm not gonna go through all of them when i change into the car but um over time i I think I've been through about three different CRV um, speedometers, clusters, whatever you want to call it. Um, pro tip for persons out there who just buy an EK <coughs> and they might think about changing the clock as well. From 96 to 2000, CRV Civic, whether it's a hatch, coupe, um, or sedan all the clusters are interchangeable so all of them can swap out and change out so you can purchase a, a cluster from any year between 96 to 2000 crv coupe um coupe is the si or the two-door long version it look like a two-door sedan for those who don't know what a coupe is um so the hatch crv um the coupe all the clocks once you're within that year that year, that yeah um, that year time frame that i mentioned then you know what i mean the clocks are interchangeable you see me so you know hope that hope you all get you know useful information if y'all didn't know that so you okay, can just go use that information now swap out or no support um do the test that you want to do um one thing though not all the clocks depending on the year come with all the same features meaning some um some will come with um let me think most of my fight up on real right now some some will come with um some will come with um different basically the the check light sections i don't know what you call that the warning light section um some will come with different warning lights well some won't come with it um some will come with a lot you know what i mean depending on the year the later not, not even really the year you know to be honest you know people some of them um actually it, it's kind of random you'd have to do like some real research into the clocks or the clusters to see which one come with um you know certain features but um for the most part i went for ones that i liked how it looked illuminated or um <clears throat> just how it looks overall in the in the um in the car my overall dream cluster still is a s2k cluster that's a honda s2000 cluster in my ek that is the goal once i have that in my car there is there is no changing it is it me yeah so yeah peeps so after changing the cluster my my next in um interior upgrade was a was the the bezel 
that's around the cluster. Um, I went with an aftermarket bezel um, that holds the gauge, the gauge on the inside. So it's a it's a aftermarket bezel gauge pad in one. Um, I went with that because I knew I would um, in the future I would be going um, aftermarket parts in the car, and you really you need an oil pressure gauge and you need uh air um air fuel ratio gauge in your car just to help prevent it won't stop you from destroying your engine but it will help in the event that something goes wrong you know before you actually rub the car and mash it up so i went with a aftermarket gauge cluster from i can't remember the brand off the top of my head right now but during the editing i'll put it here you know what i mean so that was the second um, upgrade I did to the interior of the car. Yeah. <coughs> yep. So after doing that, another major upgrade I did to the interior was changing out the fabric that's on the door panels. Uh, phone ring. So it stopped ringing. No message are coming. All right. So the the fabric on the inside of the doors. You know, usually depending on on what trim car you have or EK you have, the trims come different colors. Mine was gray. I've seen like um, dark blue. I think that coming at the SIRs um, with some patterns on it as well. You have some come. <coughs> Boy, every time I cough, my face is corona. But it's a cold people. Yeah, just so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> they come in different colors, but I wanted mine to be red. Just based off of, you know, what I had in my head in terms of future. You know, the upcoming um, installs, which will be going into the next upgrade that, um, that I did to the car. But yeah, I went with the bride jersey material you can find it on ebay um it's fairly cheap i think something like 40 dollars or 50 dollars something like that you get a nice size um i did <coughs> i wrapped the four door the four door um fabric sections and also the armors so and i still had pieces left to you know probably maybe more wrap on like something something else you know what i mean but yeah um segueing from that into my next upgrade which are the nrg bucket seats that you all already know um those were a gift from my wife um you know what i mean when you have a good man <coughs> a good woman yeah she she take notice of things where you like um you know where you love so she saw me eyeing the nrg seats and she bought it for me for my birthday you know what i mean so big up to your wife for that you know what i mean still love them still uh, <laughs> still i enjoy them so each time i go into the car you know what i mean it's a reminder that you know what i mean i'm loved so those those seats are a story by themselves you know what i mean um when you buy those seats you only get the seats and you get the rails and the seats slide on but you don't get the mounting the <coughs> you don't get the, the section that mounts onto um onto the car so you can either order those on ebay separately or you can have them made i had mine made <coughs> made um customized basically by um a friend of mine puppy yeah. him work uh sandals a puppy or a dog yeah let me call him something like that <laughs> um yeah so basically he just you know made his measurements build the brackets bam attach them to the seats um while i'm talking i'll be adding stuff to the screen you know so you can see like the process i don't remember if i recorded um everything but uh yeah just enough for you to see you know what the customization was like for getting the seats added you know to the car so after that after the seats my next upgrade i would say more significant upgrade would have been my circuit here shift plate you know what i mean i'll leave the link to that installation video 
um, that would be my next major upgrade to the car in um, interior um, I went with that because it looked good I, um, I like it you know that metallic finish you know around the gear stick basically just you know get a nice vibe so I went with that um, I'm gonna try and leave a link below you know, for persons who wish to purchase you know what I mean one y'all can hit me up as well in the comments or on my IG page because I ship things for people you can hit me up as well I'll bring I'll bring one in for you you know what I mean at a cost of course um, just hit me up we make the thing happen you know what I mean so that was my my next major upgrade to the interior you know what I mean um, segueing from that into my shifter y'all saw that also in another video of mine when i did the install of um my hybrid shifter no that by far is my favorite install to the interior we call it i don't even know if it's an interior upgrade i know you know connected the gearbox the engine blah 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 but yeah yeah that that are my biggest to date installation upgrade to the interior of my car every single time i go into the car and look at it it make more drive the car so you know what i mean yeah me enjoy that yeah them super expensive i'll leave a link again down in the comments as to where you can purchase it if you so choose you can link me as well I can bring one in for you, you know what I mean? Red gear performance all the way. You see me? Yeah peeps, so we are at the end of the video. You know what I mean? We are at the end of this QA session slash you know story time. You know, whatever you, you want to call it. Alright, now people, please don't forget, in order for you to win this, You have to be subscribed to Mad Bargain, the franchise EK3, you know what I mean, as well as the YouTube channel. So, that's an Instagram, by the way, you know what I mean. Also, I listen to all the suggestions, all the comments, you know what I mean. So, comment, comment down below, you know, what you'd like to see in future vlogs. If you liked this vlog, if you saw or got any information that was helpful, any at all to you, you know what I mean. Subscribe, like, comment share it with a friend you know what i mean but i don't know it doesn't quite end right here you know what i mean i hope y'all like the clips that's coming up you see me big up on yourself see you on the next one